Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use the safe mode feature in RoutOS. So what this feature does is that it prevents you from getting locked out of your router. So just in case that you made a change and this change was made accidentally and you say for instance disable an interface or something like that, what safe mode will do is that it will undo all these changes and then allow you to get back in your router. So I'm going to show you how to use safe mode. So if you look on the menu, you see this button that says safe mode. By pressing this button, all changes that are made in this session will be held and it will be only written or made permanent only if the safe mode option is unclick. So say for instance, if you click safe mode here and we say go to system identity and so this is the current identity and if I was supposed to change identity from Microtik and type test safe mode click OK we can see here where the identity of the router was changed this change is temporary so until this button is on un unclick the changes will not be saved so let me show you so if I disconnect from the router so say for instance this was a change that will lock, um, disconnect me from the router and say for instance I close I'm closing it you see you are in safe mode quit all unroll um, changes so what this will do is that it will just revert. So if I close it, reopen, and I'm going to connect back. The name or the identity of the router has reverted to what it was before. So this is one way. Another way, say for instance you SSH to the router and you're at the terminal and you want to go into safe mode you can press Control x to enter safe mode and to exit exit safe mode press Control x again and you are out of safe mode so if i press Control x and now i'm in safe mode i'm going to do about the same thing again by changing the identity so i say system identity set name to test safe mode um, let me just use one word test safe mode all right and i've changed the identity so we have seen the identity change here all right say for instance i exit now i'm going to connect back to the router And now it has reverted to what it was before. I'm going to show you now how to save the changes. So if you say Control X again to enter safe mode, so it says safe mode right here. And I and I'm going to put it back to test safe mode identity has, has changed again if I press Control X this time and close out of the interface and then go back it will save the changes so it comes back in with the name of the router now so you see the name and the name the identity so after exiting safe mode all the sa the changes are written to the router so safe mode really helps you to prevent you from getting locked out uh say say for instance look at this if you suppose you are actually in the interface and i am now connected to ethernet 2 and say for instance ethernet 2 is a matter of fact i'm going to go even much further so I'm going to turn on safe mode. So I'm going to show you exactly what safe mode will do. 
and I'm going to disable all all the interfaces all right so I disable all interfaces so even the interface that I'm connected to is also disabled so now I'm disconnected from the router because things like this can happen so just wait about a few seconds and I'm going to hit reconnect and now all the interfaces have been enabled automatically because all these changes were done when safe mode was enabled so that is how safe mode really works so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching